विरुद्ध स्टार्ट केलं तरी चालेल Are we live? You can uh, let me know in the on the Zoom chat. All right. Uh, good afternoon and actually good morning. Uh, welcome to everyone uh, on the National uh, Zero Shadow Day celebrations of Ayuka. So <clears throat> Zero Shadow Day is local to the individual places and it happens twice a year in between the regions of the tropics. Okay. So we all have learned that uh, Earth is. Uh, actually uh, having a tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn and the region between those two tropics is known as the tropical region of the earth now uh, these regions exist because the axis of the earth is tilted by 23 and a half degrees now because of this axial tilt sometimes the um, sun is directly in front of the northern hemisphere when there is summer in the northern hemisphere and sometimes it is slightly uh, you know away from the uh, northern hemisphere where there, when there is winter in the northern hemisphere because of the earth's revolution around the sun and the axial tilt of the earth we can sometimes see that the sun apparently moves northward which is called as uttarayan and sometimes we see that the sun apparently moves southward which is called as dakshinayan okay so during the sun's journey from north to south or south to north some uh, at one point the sun comes exactly overhead on the location between these tropics so now if you were to live exactly on the tropic of cancer then you would experience zero shadow day maybe only once because the sun reaches the tropic of cancer and then comes back to its southward journey so uh, to help visualize this we can uh, see this demonstration so just a moment so uh, one of our friends uh, alok mandogani has created beautiful uh, visualizations as well as mobile applications which you can download on your phones or you can also use his web tool uh, which helps us find out when there will be a zero shadow day and if at all will there be a zero shadow day for your location so uh, the astronomical society of india's public outreach and education committee have put together a list of such resources so if you go to astron-sauce.in which is astronomical society of india and if you go to the zero shadow day activity page what you will see is uh, you will see a lot of resources you will see an explanation of why zero shadow day occurs and the most important thing behind celebrating zero shadow day is it helps people understand the sun's apparent motion it helps understand the concept of local noon so many a times uh, during 12 o'clock in the afternoon you think that the sun is exactly overhead so uh, we often say that the sun is exactly uh, on top of our heads during noon and uh, that is actually not always the case that is not actually uh, entirely true the sun is exactly overhead only when the declination of the sun is equal to the latitude of the place okay so now similar to latitude longitude the celestial coordinate system makes use of two more coordinates called right ascension and declination so these coordinates are very important when you want to uh, track the positions of objects in the sky now in case of zero shadow day whenever the sun's declination is equal to the latitude of your place the sun rises exactly in the east for your location on that day so when does the sun exactly rise in the east on the equator that day is called as the equinox right so on the day of equinox the equator will experience zero shadow day so when are the equinoxes so uh, there are two days is on 21st of march and 22nd of september so on those days what you can experience is the sun will rise exactly in the east go overhead and rise exactly in the west on the equator but since we are away from the equator on the equinox day pune particularly where we are streaming from does not get a uh, equal day and equal night okay because we are northward the sun is not exactly rising in the east it is not exactly setting in the west so for us the zero shadow day uh, happens twice a year so one of the days is today which is 13th of uh, one of the days for pune city was yesterday which was 13th of may today the people from pimpri chinchwad will experience a zero shadow day Ayuka is a little bit closer to Pimpri Chinchwad, 
so ayuka gets to uh, experience zero shadow day on both days so actually all the uh, you know houses or people in this belt can experience zero shadow day twice because we are right on to the border so uh, to find out when and how the zero shadow day occurs let's see this uh, web page so this web page is created by alok uh, from uh, for the astronomical society of india with help from a couple of colleagues so what is interesting about this web page is uh, you can just type out your city name let's say if i type pune so i can immediately get the zero shadow day uh, dates timings and i can get the latitude and longitude of my uh, location now if you do not know the name of certain place but you know the google map location maybe it's a hotel maybe it's your camping site or maybe it's your school ground so your school ground does not appear on the google maps right but you can find your school on the map and you can double tap on to that school ground and uh, you can easily uh, find out when there will be a zero shadow day if you observe from that ground so you can also do that you can zoom into this map and maybe let's say if you wanted to see zero shadow day from ara hill so i can double click here and i can immediately find out what is the latitude longitude of that place uh, how far is that place from the tropic of cancer and how far is that place from the equator so those distances are also given and when will be the next zero shadow day so why are we celebrating this zero shadow day today itself is uh, right now there are summer summers going on on 30th of july it is likely that there will be rains and we may not be able to see sun at all so that is why we are celebrating the zero shadow day today and uh, that is uh, the main reason why uh, we popularize this event at this event and celebrate this event now in addition to seeing zero shadow day there are some more interesting things that you can see uh, in case of the sun so sun is actually a very active object so sun is a massive a uh, star which is made out of plasma so plasma is nothing but highly charged and ionized gas now the sun's surface is highly active and another interesting thing about the sun is it undergoes what is known as a differential rotation so the part of the sun uh, closer to its equator rotates slower than the part uh, closer to its poles and you can experiment uh, you can uh, verify this visually also so there are these beautiful features on the sun surface that we are also going to see today so these dark spots you see they are known as sun spots so they are relatively colder regions compared to the rest of the surface now the sun surface is around 5 to 6000 degrees of centigrade now in comparison to that the sun spots are much colder they are around 3 to 3500 degrees of centigrade that is why they appear darker they are not black so if you were just to see the sunspot region and focus on it you would see a very bright and very hot region and these sunspots are created because of the magnetic activity happening on the sun so i have a close up of that sunspot over here so as you can see you can there, there there are some darker regions and then there are these filaments which are appearing uh, onto the surface now because the rest of the surface is too hot and too bright because of that you can see the sunspots black in color so to get, give a an analogy uh, although not accurate you can still imagine if you if you are holding a 0 watt bulb in one hand and if you are holding a 100 watt bulb in the other hand and if you observe that person holding these two light bulbs from a very far away distance so the 0 watt bulb will appear very darker right as compared to the 100 watt bulb because it is too bright something like that is happening uh, but the reason the sunspots are colder in the first place is because the sun has a lot of magnetic dipole lines which are originating from its surface now uh, because the sun has so many magnetic lines the lines get twisted and you all have learned that the like poles repel uh, charged particles and unlike poles attract them so if charged particles having their own magnetic field come in uh, contact with the magnetic field they get deflected and because of that a lot of charged particles in a small area get thrown away from the sun so what happens when you remove let's say there is a bucket of warm water and you start removing warm water what will happen to the uh, temperature of the water will it rise or will it fall so it will fall so the temperature in that region goes down and a lot of charged particles are thrown away so this also gives rise to what are called as solar winds or solar flares 
and as a result of these flares we often get to experience what are known as auroras uh, so the auroras happening in the northern hemisphere are called as aurora borealis the ones happening in the southern hemisphere are called, called as aurora australis coming back to the zero shadow day thing so why we talked about the sunspots was when you do the observations of zero shadow day easily build instruments like pinhole cameras so it is a very it is very easy to uh, you know set up your pinhole camera you just have to set it up upright and when the sun comes overhead the pinhole image will be found on the ground so such experiments can allow you to not only observe or validate the zero shadow day but it can also help you see the image of the sun and when you see the image of the sun you will come across uh, sun spots so today th this is the live image of uh, the sun captured by the soho spacecraft and uh, actually it is the solar dynamic observatory and they have captured a very detailed image of the sun now the thing about this spacecraft is it has many cameras so you can see the sun in different wavelengths and you can see how the sun interacts in uh, different frequencies so this photo is taken uh, using an optical uh, you know filter and what this filter is doing is it is cutting sunlight uh, by a, a remarkable amount to allow us to see details so if if i shine a very bright light on your eye then then your eye is not able to make out any details so then what you do is you try to uh, close your eyes or uh, sh shorten your pupils a little bit or you try to cover your eyes to reduce the amount of light to see details so something like that that is being done in case of a solar filter so today when we observe the sun we are going to observe it with the help of a solar viewer and we are also going to talk about how to build your own solar viewer uh, you can use a pinhole camera which is one of the safest and cheapest methods to observe the sun and in addition to that if you want to really use a telescope or a camera then it is important that you use a solar filter which is uh, uh, you know verified and which is uh, which comes from a good source because if at all there are some leaks in your solar filter then your telescope uh, will permanently damage your eye it is going to do the same thing which happens when you hold a paper in front of a magnifying glass the paper catches fire right so something like that will also happen to your pupils or to your retina so it is a very very uh, dangerous uh, thing to directly look the sun using a telescope so you all know about galileo so galileo used to observe sun regularly uh, he not only used to observe sun he used to observe moon jupiter uh, jupiter's moons and all that but because of prolonged uh, observations of the sun he uh, his eyes were permanently damaged and we do not want to make the same mistakes again and now we have some of the uh, best filters we have solar goggles which you can directly put in your eyes and if in, if at all there is a very big sunspot you can see the sunspot directly and you almost have seen a solar goggle or used a solar goggle using a uh, during an eclipse so uh, that, that was about the sunspots so zero shadow day gives us this opportunity to uh, you know efficiently observe the sun understand the apparent motion of the sun and also understand how the uh, uh, you know apparent motion of the sun can be tracked and what all activities can be done so in addition to zero shadow day there are some more experiments that you, that you can do on this day so there was an experiment done by eratosthenes uh, where he had calculated the circumference of the earth by uh, simply taking a uh, reading of a shadow so what he did was he had set up this exactly perpendicular gnomon uh, a gnomon is any upper erect object which is exactly perpendicular to the ground so then he kept on observing the length of the shadow of the gnomon and he observed that as the sun traveled towards the local moon which is exactly overhead the length of the shadow started reducing and at at one point it was minimum so if there is a zero shadow day it will be zero but on all other days the shadow will be shortest during the local noon because at all points sun is going to cross the meridian right the imaginary north south line so he will get the shortest shadow so from that he was able to calculate the uh, angle of the sun now in this case we don't have to really calculate the angle of the sun because we know today is a zero shadow day so the declination of the sun will be equal to the latitude of the place so if you know where you stay then you can calculate the angle of the sun on this day exactly at local noon 
and from that experiment uh, by knowing the angle of the sun if you substitute it in a particular formula you can get the circumference of the earth now once you have the circumference you have the diameter it is just pi times the diameter so that is so easy and so trivial so you just have to measure a shadow and using simple mathematics and trigonometry you can calculate the diameter of the earth and and i think that is something remarkable that uh, and so powerful that such a simple tool uh, like uh, pen and paper and some trigonometry can help you scale and calculate so many such huge distances so uh, you can also see a lot of many resource materials over here so this website is a beautiful curation of such uh, presentations you can also download the maps and which tell you when there will be a zero shadow day at a certain location and you can also see this list so today if you see the uh, let's let's check the list over here today is 14th of may so on 13th of may you could see pune in the list over here so today there is pimple chinchwad and areas closer to the pune university so that is why we are celebrating the zero shadow day today and uh, we will very soon see the entire zero shadow day setup as well and we will also start marking the readings and we will really verify whether we can see zero shadow day or not so these are the state wise markings that we have curated and uh, then you can find some very beautiful videos so this video is Uh, made by uh, professor arvind gupta and his team at ayuka and the good thing about this website is there are videos in all languages so if you want to uh, learn about zero shadow day in your local language may it be marathi may it be kannada may it be telugu or may it be hindi so you will find resources and uh, videos in all uh, local languages and uh, there are also a couple of uh, you know time lapses that we have uh, posted so i think uh, we we can quickly take a look at this time lapse so this was captured by arvin paranspe so you can see that the uh, length of the shadow is prolonged on the right hand side right towards the west so as the sun moves upward and exactly comes overhead the length of the shadow keeps on reducing and at exactly overhead point the uh, shadow of a cylinder becomes a circle because the sun is exactly on the top and as the sun starts moving again in the other meridian which is the western meridian the shadow starts falling in the east so we saw something like this uh, or we discussed something like this uh, on uh, in case of a uh, sundial so this is something very interesting to uh, visually verify and take uh, readings of so this is something that we will see today as well so uh, for people who would like to know when the zero shadow day will be in in uh, your individual places you can take a look at this website by asi poc then there is this another web page by alok mandogane and there is a beautiful zsd app on android and uh, you can download that app and you can also uh, figure out when the zero shadow day will be there for your place there is this small video that we'd like to show so this video shows how to use this application so we are not going to go through the entire video but uh, it, you can simply tap on your phone or if you switch on your gps it detects your location and it, it will tell you the zero shadow day for your place then this app also has a couple of uh, other simulations which help you uh, understand the change in the uh, declination of the sun so what will happen to the sun's declination tomorrow will it increase or decrease because the sun is moving northward right so the uh, how will the declination of the sun change because the latitude is increasing from uh, 18 and a half to 19 and to so on so the declination will also increase because the only reason zero shadow day occurs is because the sun's declination matches the earth's uh, latitude of that place so there is this simulation as well and then there are simulations where how the sun moves from the tropic of capricorn to the tropic of cancer so we can also see those simulations so these are some simulations that he has made so this is how the uh, sun's uh, 
position changes from tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn so this is another beautiful application so where you can see on the top right there is the this uh, lambda written right so that lambda stands for the declination of the sun so on 14th of may you can see it is 18.91 so it is almost equal to the declination of or, or the latitude of pune city and you can simply drag your cursor change the days and see how the sun is moving okay so uh, until 25th or 21st of june the sun is continuing to do uttarayan so as soon as 21st of june is uh, over the sun has crossed this line over here and the sun has started its descent or southward apparent movement so you can see dakshina and will appear over here 22nd june onwards and if you can see this uh, yellow line over here or orange line over here this is the line of the uh, sun so you can see that the sun is starting to move southward as it starts moves moving southward on 22nd of september it will reach the equator which will be the equinox day right and this is the autumnal equinox so there are two equinoxes one is the autumnal equinox which happens in the autumn season and of the northern hemisphere and one is the spring equinox which happens on 21st of march so you can uh, you know change this slider and you can see the change in the uh, position or the change in the orbit of the sun and uh, on the on the bottom right hand side the figure that you see is called as a solar analog now this is very interesting to note so now the sun is revolving sun appears to revolve around the earth right now the earth is revolving around the sun in a ecliptic orbit and because of that sometimes the earth travels faster and sometimes the earth travels slower because of the ecliptic orbit and now uh, at the same time the earth is tilted so this analemma is a result of the both motions of the sun put together so you can uh, capture this solar analemma or you can actually uh, track this solar an analemma using a simple activity so if you uh, set up a pole in your school most of the schools mo uh, already have a pole set up which is a flat pole so if you take readings of the uh, <coughs> shadow of the sun or uh, i'm sorry the shadow of the flat pole Uh, at the same time every day <clears throat> for the entire year then the shape that the shadow will trace so you don't have to uh, do this every day also you can do it every four days so mark the tip of the shadow maybe uh, if your school starts at let's say 9 am or uh, 10 am so you can select a time of 11 am where you all will be there and one of you should go and do a marking of the tip of the shadow at 11 am and this activity can be repeated for the entire year and once the full year is complete you will observe that the tip of the shadow traces the figure of eight loop where one of the loops is smaller than the other so the smaller loop is when the sun is uh, sorry the earth is closer to the sun and longer loop is when the earth is farther from the sun and then there is this figure of eight shape because the earth is tilted by 23 and a half degrees okay and then this activity or this shape is known as a solar analemma now because the shadow is tracing a figure of eight loop of course the sun is also tracing the figure of eight loop right because of the position of the sun you can see the uh, shadow in the opposite direction so that is something that you can uh, try to try it out and uh, zero shadow day of your place is the best time to start because you actually are out uh, in the sun and you can actually start making the markings so this this was about the uh, uh, motions of the apparent motions of the sun that you can track using this web application as well as mobile application so we also saw this website which gives us a list of zero shadow days and then there are so many beautiful visualizations and resource materials that are uh, made available in various languages so uh, this is a page uh, made by arvind baranspe okay just a second this is a article in marathi
and then there are these explanations uh, over youtube that you can see and you can learn more about the uh, uh, zero shadow day in all, in all. so now what we are going to do is we are going to move to the central kund of ayuka so as you can see in this video so this is the central kund of ayuka and we are going to uh, understand about the setup of the zero shadow day before we move there let's quickly see this animation so in this animation you can see that the sun is rising from the east when the sun exactly goes on over overhead the shadow almost disappears it goes exactly below and when it starts going west the shadow starts increasing in the eastern period so we are going to uh, have these kinds of setups uh, with us and with the help of these setups what we are going to do is we are uh, going to study the zero shadow day uh, moment at the exact local moment. so here you can see that the earth is uh, tilted by 23 and a half degrees and uh, you can also see that there are markings of equator and tropics which are done so during the summer season you can see the tropic of cancer is receiving direct sunlight so this is the uh, position when there is a zero shadow day uh, in india particularly in pune uh, and uh, the uh, sunlight is exactly overhead pune city at at local noon <laughs> so all the places on this this latitude will experience zero shadow day today that is what uh, we are trying to tell so the local noon of different places will be different in case of pune it should have been 12 right but it is 1231 because we are slightly towards the west of the indian standard time so had we been on the allahabad uh, longitude and on the same latitude as that of pune our zero shadow day would have been on 12 o'clock but since we are on the west our zero shadow day is slightly later than that and you can see these beautiful animations see these explanations and you can then learn more about the zero shadow day so we can also check if uh, the zero shadow day timings vary from longitude to longitude so let's say if i uh, select this red line which is the current position of the sun if i click on double click over here so the zero shadow day is on 14th of may at 1220 right if i go closer to the center of our country the zero shadow day is at 1211 local noon time if i go slightly to the east maybe on the line of nagpur the zero shadow day is almost at 1209 so uh, the closer you get to the central meridian uh, or the indian uh, standard meridian which passes through allahabad the timing will be closest to the 12 o'clock noon now as you are in pune the uh, uh, timing is now 1231 because pune is to the west of allahabad similarly you can check for the uh, cities which are on the east so you can see that the uh, zero shadow day moment is at 1149 because the local noon at that place is earlier than the one at alaga so this problem occurs or the reason why zero shadow day is not at exact well noon on all places is because we use one standard time zone which passes through the alaga so if we were living if pune city was just on the same longitude of as that of alaga our zero shadow day would have been happened would have been at exactly 12 o'clock with that now i think uh, we can uh, move on to the uh, kund so uh, aditya are you ready now yes i am so i have unmuted you so could you please uh, show your setup to the uh, viewers okay as you can see uh, there are uh, different uh, is that have been set up and uh, what we have ensured is that the table is exactly uh, set up on the level ground so we have used a spirit level for that and you can see different objects have been set up and these objects are going to be used or the shadows of these objects are going to be used to uh, make the markings now the scale is already on the flat surface there is no shadow of the scale but uh, there are some objects which have a certain height right like this uh, stand in in this case or a beaker or you you can see the cylindrical uh, pipe tube that we have set up on this table and that 
cube uh, is casting a shadow which is longer so at the exact zero shadow moment the shadows of these tubes will become exactly circular as we are going to see the ring which is falling onto the uh, because of the sun being exactly on the top so we have set up many instruments we have set up many uh, different types of uh, you know apparatus uh, you can also see the beautiful campus of ayuka there are the four statues uh, this is the statue of aryabhatta then there is the statue of uh, albert einstein uh, over there we have the uh, statue of the isaac newton who is sitting under a tree and this is the statue of galileo galilei so he was one of the pioneering uh, astronomers to uh, use telescope uh, for doing observations uh, or for astronomy purposes and where we are right now is the central kund of ayuka <clears throat> so now what we are going to do is it's almost 12 o'clock now we are going to start marking shadows on any one of the uh, pipes and over uh, here on the right hand side we have a solar viewer so what we are going to try to do is we are also going to set up sun and we are going to observe the image of the sun spots so as soon as we set up sun in the solar viewer we will show you the image of the sun now all these setups or all these apparatus can be easily uh, set up at any place you live so you just have to find out when the zero shadow day is going to occur at your place and once you know then you can uh, use use that uh, zero shadow day uh, as a you know opportunity to conduct these different experiments now the pipes that we have set up are casting these oblong shadows so as soon as we uh, start making markings you will see that the length of the shadow keeps on decreasing and at the exact local noon moment it will become a perfectly circular so aditya if you can start marking any one of the shadows so perhaps you can set a paper at, at the bottom and you can start marking the shadows so to uh, summarize whatever uh, we just discussed so the uh, now i will try to summarize all of this in marathi just a second so as bina savli sa divas apan sajra karto ani to bina savli sa divas sajra karta na kiwa zero shadow day sajra karta na apan he samjhun gyaycha prayatna karto ki aplyala ha shunya savli sa divas ke bina savli sa divas ha aajach ka disto ani ha kon kon tya shaharanna disku shakto ani hi ghatana hone magcha karan kay तर सूर्य हा सतत उत्तरायण किंवा दक्षिणायण ह्या त्याच्या भासमान गतींमध्ये आपल्याला दिसतो सो सूर्य आयदर नॉर्थला तरी पुढे सरकताना आपल्याला दिसतो ज्याला आपण उत्तरायण असं म्हणतो किंवा तो साऊथला सरकताना दिसतो ज्याला आपण दक्षिणायण असं म्हणतो तुम्ही जर आता हा मॅप बघितला तर इथे तुम्हाला ह्या तीन रेषा दिसत आहेत सो ह्या तीन रेषा म्हणजे ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कॅन्सर ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कॅप्रिकॉन आणि इक्वेटर अशा ह्या तीन रेषा सो पृथ्वीवरती ह्या ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कॅन्सर पासून म्हणजे आणि ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कॅप्रिकॉन पर्यंत त्या मधल्या एरियाला आपण ट्रॉपिकल रिजन असं म्हणतो तर त्या भागातल्या सगळ्या शहरांना सगळ्या गावांना झिरो शॅडो डे अनुभवत आहे कारण काय सन जास्तीत जास्त नॉर्थला जेव्हा प्रवास करतो तो ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कॅन्सर पर्यंत आणि जास्तीत जास्त साऊथला जेव्हा प्रवास करतो तो करतो तो ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कॅप्रिकॉन पर्यंत तर आता तुम्हाला ह्याच्यावरती लाल रंगाची जी रेस दिसते ती ऍक्च्युली सूर्याच्या करंट डेक्लिनेशन ला असणाऱ्या लाईनची रेष आहे म्हणजे सूर्याचं डेक्लिनेशन हे जर तुमच्या लॅटिट्यूड एवढं जर झालं म्हणजे तुमच्या रेखांश अक्षांश एवढं जर झालं तर तुम्हाला झिरो शडोडे अनुभवत आहे तर आता चौदा मे आज आहे तर आपण ज्या भागात राहतोय त्या भागात जाऊन जर तुम्ही डबल क्लिक करून पाहिलं तर तुम्हाला तुमच्या एरियामध्ये झिरो शडोडे कधी अनुभवता येणार आहे हे तुम्हाला बघतोय समजा मी ह्या रेषेवरती डबल क्लिक केलं तर पुणे शहरासाठी साधारणपणे साडेबारा वाजता आज म्हणजे चौदा मे ला आणि पुढचा झिरो शॅडो डे सूर्य जेव्हा कर्कवृत्तावरनं निघून पुन्हा दक्षिणायणीकडे प्रवास करत असेल म्हणजे साऊथवर्ड अपरेंट मोशन जेव्हा त्याची सुरू होत असेल तेव्हा आपल्याला त्याचा 
झिरो शॅडो ने पुन्हा अनुभवता येऊ शकतो पण तेव्हा आपल्याकडे नेमका पावसाळा असतो सो आता चौदा मे नंतर एकोणतीस जुलैला पुन्हा एकदा आपल्याला झिरो शॅडो ने अनुभवता येणार आता ह्या वेबसाईटचा वापर करून तुम्ही तुमच्या इथला झिरो शॅडो डे कधी होणार आहे याची माहिती घेऊ शकता किंवा ऍस्ट्रॉनॉमिकल सोसायटी ऑफ इंडियानी ही जी वेबसाईट क्युरेट केलेली आहे त्या वेबसाईटवरती खूप सुंदर आणि सोप्या भाषेत असं एक्सप्लेनेशन दिलेलं आहे की झिरो शॅडो डे का होतो तो कुठनं कुठनं पाहता येतो तिथे तुम्हाला झिरो शॅडो डेचं एक ऍप सुद्धा डाऊनलोड करता येईल अँड्रॉइड वरून हे ऍप ऍज वेल एज हे वेबपेज अलोकने बनवलेलं आहे सो तुम्ही त्याच्या वेबसाईटवरती बाकी पण ऍप्लिकेशन जाऊन पाहू शकता आणि सूर्याची ऑल ओव्हर द इयर मोशन कशी होते तर ते सुद्धा तुम्हाला ह्याच्यातनं ट्रॅक करता येतं आता इथे तुम्हाला हा पृथ्वीचा मॅप दिसतोय तर त्या मॅपवरती तीन रेषा तुम्हाला म्हटल्याप्रमाणे त्यातली जी ऑरेंज रेष आहे ती ही सनची करंट लॅटिट्यूड किंवा सन कोणत्या लॅटिट्यूड वरती आत्ता आहे हे डेमॉन्स्ट्रेट करणारी आहे त्याच्यावरती जो लॅमडा नावाचा तुम्हाला शेप दिसतोय सो तो बेसिकली डेक्लिनेशन ऑफ द सन आहे किंवा लॅटिट्यूड ऑफ द लोकेशन हॅव्हिंग झिरो शॅडो डे म्हणजे एकूण एकच सो हे तुम्हाला मार्किंग आता इकडे बघता येते आता आपण हा स्लायडर जेव्हा मूव्ह करतो तेव्हा तुम्हाला सूर्याच्या रिस्पेक्टनी पृथ्वीची ऍक्सिस ही कशी टिल्टेड आहे ते दिसतंय तर आता आपण मे महिन्यात असल्यामुळे जो नॉर्दन हेमिस्फिअर आहे त्याला आता डायरेक्ट सनलाईट मिळते त्यामुळे तिथे आपल्याला उन्हाळा अनुभवता येतो आता त्या उन्हाळा अनुभवता येत असल्यामुळे ह्या भागांमध्ये उष्णता पण जास्त आहे आणि ऍट द सेम डायरेक्ट टाइम डायरेक्ट सनलाईट पडत असल्यामुळे ह्या भागांमध्ये ह्या पिरियडमध्ये झिरो शॅडो डे आपल्याला बघता येणार सो ज्या क्षणी सूर्याची डेक्लिनेशन ही तुमच्या लॅटिट्यूड एवढी होईल त्या क्षणी म्हणजे त्या लोकल नून ला त्या दिवसाच्या तुम्हाला झिरो शॅडो डे अनुभवत आहे सो तुम्ही जसा स्लायडर पुढे न्याल तसं तुम्ही बघू शकता की सूर्याची जी पोझिशन आहे ती त्याच्या म्हणजे टॉपिक ऑफ कॅन्सर किंवा टॉपिक ऑफ कॅप्रिकॉनच्या कम्पॅरिझनमध्ये कशी व्हेरी होती सो आपण जर एकवीस जूनला गेलो तर सूर्य नॉर्थ मोस्ट पॉइंटला गेलेला आहे आणि त्यानंतर सूर्याने दक्षिणायणला सुरुवात केलेली आहे सूर्य आता खालती खालती येत चाललाय आणि ऑलमोस्ट बावीस सप्टेंबरला सूर्य हा इक्वेटरवरती आलेला आहे आणि इक्वेटरवरती आल्यामुळे त्या दिवसाला आपण इक्विनॉक्स असं म्हणतो त्यानंतर आपण पुढे जात गेलो ऑक्टोबर नोव्हेंबर डिसेंबर असं करत करत तर बावीस डिसेंबरच्या सुमारे सूर्य हा पूर्णपणे दक्षिणेला पोचलेला आहे ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कॅप्रिकॉन पर्यंत आणि त्यानंतर मग सूर्याने पुन्हा एकदा त्याची जर्नी सुरू केलेली आहे उत्तरेकडे उत्तर उत्तरायणीकडे सो सूर्य अशा प्रकारे नॉर्थ टू साऊथ आणि साऊथ टू नॉर्थ अशा मुवमेंट्स कंटिन्यू करत असतो आणि ह्या मुवमेंट्स ट्रॅक करत असताना तुम्ही जर सनची पोझिशन जर स्काय मध्ये ऑब्झर्व केली एखाद्या फिक्स टाईमला तर तुम्हाला लक्षात येईल की सन कधी कधी नॉर्थवर्ड सरकलेला असतो किंवा कधी कधी साऊथवर्ड सरकलेला असतो त्याचबरोबर त्याचे ईस्ट वेस्ट डिरेक्शन सुद्धा बदलतात कारण काय सूर्या भोवती फिरत असताना पृथ्वी ही अंडाकृती ऑर्बिटमध्ये फिरते त्यामुळे कधी कधी ती तिच्या ऑर्बिटमध्ये फास्टर फिरते कधी कधी ती स्लोवर फिरते आणि ह्याचा अनुभव एकत्रितपणे तुम्हाला जर घ्यायचा असेल तर तुम्ही जर सनच्या पोझिशनचं मार्किंग केलं स्काय मध्ये तर तुम्हाला असा फिगर ऑफ एट लूप मिळतो या फिगर ऑफ एट लूप ला आपण सोलार अनालेमा असं म्हणतो सो ही एक खूप सुंदर ऍक्टिव्हिटी तुम्ही करून पाहू शकता त्याचबरोबर इराटॉस सेनिसनी सगळ्यात पहिल्यांदा पृथ्वीचा परी म्हणजे सरकम फरन्स काढला होता हा सिम्पल झिरो शॅडोडे सारख्याच सेटअपचा वापर करतो तर त्यांनी अलेक्झेंड्रिया आणि साईन अशा दोन सिटीजच्या मधला डिस्टन्स कॅल्क्युलेट केला आणि तो डिस्टन्स कॅल्क्युलेट केल्यानंतर त्यांनी त्या डिस्टन्स त्याचबरोबर सनचा जो अँगल आहे त्या अँगलवरनं ह्या दोन गोष्टी सबस्टिट्यूट करून पृथ्वीचा डायमीटर कॅल्क्युलेट केला होता सो त्या एक्सपेरिमेंट सुद्धा तुम्ही रिक्रिएट करून पाहू शकता आणि तुम्ही स्वतःहून पृथ्वीचा डायमीटर आणि परी काढू शकता सो ह्या वेबसाईटवरती अनेक वेगवेगळ्या भाषांमध्ये तुम्हाला प्रेझेंटेशन मिळतील व्हिडिओज मिळतील त्याचबरोबर वेगवेगळी सिम्युलेशन सुद्धा तुम्हाला पाहायला मिळतील सो आता आपण एक काम करूया आपण ही सिम्युलेशन एकदा पुन्हा एकदा प्ले करूया आणि जसं हे सिम्युलेशन संपेल तसं आपण पुन्हा एकदा आपला सेटअप पाहूया आता हा जो व्हिडिओ आहे तो अरविंद गुप्ता सर आणि त्यांच्या टीमनी आमच्या आयोगातल्या सगळ्या टीमनी तयार केलेला आहे तुम्ही आता आयोगाच्या कुंड एरिया मधला सेटअप बघताय 
इथे तुम्ही बघू शकता की सनच्या रायझिंग तो एक्झॅक्टली डोक्यात येईपर्यंत आणि मग सेटिंग सो तुम्हाला एक छोटस अॅनिमेशन दिसत आहे आणि झिरो शॅडो मुमेंट चे तुम्हाला काही फोटोज इकडे दिसत आहेत की जेव्हा सन एक्झॅक्टली ओव्हरहेड होता तेव्हा सिलेंड्रिकल ऑब्जेक्टच्या सर्क्युलर शॅडोज कशा पडतात किंवा शॉर्टेस्ट शॅडोज कशा पडतात इथे तुम्ही पाहू शकता की सनच्या एक्झॅक्टली समोर जी ऑब्जेक्ट असेल त्याची झिरो शॅडो येणार आहे आणि इतर इतर कुठले कुठेही एक दुसरा ऑब्जेक्ट ठेवला तर त्याच्या शॅडोची काहीतरी लेंथ येणार आहे त्या लेन्सच्या डिफरन्स वरनं तुम्हाला कॅल्क्युलेट करता येतं आणि झिरो शॅडो डे रोज म्हणजे ज्या ज्या डेक्लिनेशनला सन आहे त्या डेक्लिनेशनला इक्वेलंट जे लॅटिट्यूड आहे तिथल्या सगळ्या प्लेसेस वरती त्या दिवशी झिरो शॅडो डे होतो फक्त तो वेगवेगळ्या वेळी होतो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन तुम्ही कोणत्या लॉन्जिट्यूड वरती राहताय त्याप्रमाणे तुमची लोकल नून बदलते सो पृथ्वी तिच्या कक्षेमध्ये फिरत असताना सनलाईट तिच्यावरती ज्या ओरिएंटेशन नि पडतो ते ओरिएंटेशन चेंज होत राहतं त्यामुळे आपल्याला सीझन्स अनुभवता येतात जर तुमच्या हेमिस्फिअर वरती डायरेक्ट सनलाईट पडला तर तुमच्या इथे समर सीझन तुम्हाला अनुभवता येतो जर त्याच्याकडे इनडायरेक्ट सनलाईट जर पडला तर तुम्हाला तिथे विंटर सीझन अनुभवता येतो म्हणजे जसं ह्या केस मध्ये आता इथे तुम्ही बघताय नॉर्दन हेमिस्फिअर वरती डायरेक्ट सनलाईट न पडता सदर्न हेमिस्फिअर वरती पडतो त्यामुळे तिथे आपल्याला समोर अनुभवता येतो सो असे खूप सोपे आणि खूप सिम्पल अॅनिमेशन चा वापर करून इथे हे डेमॉन्स्ट्रेट केलेलं आहे इथे तुम्हाला मागच्या काही वर्षांमधले झिरो शॅडो डेचे काही फोटोज दिसतात सो तुम्ही आणखीन असे व्हिडिओज आणि आणखीन आमचे डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन पाहू शकता आमच्या युट्यूबच्या अयुका सायपॉप नावाच्या चॅनलवरती किंवा अरविंद गुप्ता टॉईज डॉट कॉम नावाची आमची वेबसाईट आहे त्याच्यावरही तुम्ही पाहू शकता सो अशा अनेक वेगवेगळ्या भाषांमधले रिसोर्सेस आणि सिम्युलेशन तुम्हाला बघता येणार आहेत आता मी स्क्रीन शेअरिंग स्टॉप करतो आणि आदित्यला रिक्वेस्ट करतो की आता आपण सेटअप पाहूया आता ऑलमोस्ट सव्वा बारा वाजलेत सो आता आपण सेटअपचं मार्किंग करायला सुरुवात करूया आदित्य जर सनस्पॉट लावला असेल तर एकदा फक्त दाखवू शकतो तुम्ही आता बघू शकता ह्याची शॅडो लेफ्ट ला सरकत चालली आहे म्हणजे एक्झॅक्टली ऑब्जेक्टच्या खाली सरकत चालली आहे आणि झिरो शॅडो मुवमेंटला ती शॅडो एक्झॅक्टली त्या बिकरच्या बेसच्या खाली जाणार आहे हे आपण पाहणार आहोत आता आमचे बाकी टीममेट्स तिकडे सगळेजण तुमच्याशी कुंट एरियामधनं इंटरॅक्ट करत आहेत सो तिक तिथे आत्ता हा टेबल तुम्ही बघताय बरोबर सो जेव्हा एक्झॅक्टली सन ओव्हर हेड येईल तेव्हा त्या टेबलवरती जे होल्स आहेत त्याच्या एक्झॅक्टली सर्क्युलर शॅडोज खाली पडतील आत्ता आमच्याकडे आयुकाचा स्कूल स्टुडंट समर प्रोग्रामचे काही स्टुडंट्स आलेत की ज्यांच्याबरोबर आम्ही ही ऍक्टिव्हिटी करतोय कालच तो प्रोग्राम कन्क्लूड झाला आणि आज त्या प्रोग्रामचा फायनल डे आहे जेव्हा ते झिरो शॅडो डे सेलिब्रेशन करतील आदित्य एकदा सनस्पॉट दाखवायला ट्राय करूया इथे ऍक्च्युली खूप शॅडो येते आम्ही परत एकदा लावायचा प्रयत्न करतो बेसिकली सूर्यावरचे कोल्डर रिजन असतात सूर्याच्या बाकी प्रतलाच्या तुलनेत 
सनस्पॉट से जास्त गार कि जास्त कोलडर टेम्परेचर से डार्क दिस्त अपने एक्जैक्टली ट्वेल्व थर्टी वन लीरो शैडो डे अनुभव ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन शैडो ची ले हलूह कमी हो जाए नेक्स्ट ओके सो मी सांगत होतो तर आज जर तुम्ही सनला प्रोजेक्ट केलं सनच्या इमेजला प्रोजेक्ट केलं तर तुम्हाला अशा प्रकारचे काही छोटे छोटे सनस्पॉट्स दिसतील सो जसं मी सांगत होतो सनस्पॉट्स किंवा सौर डाक हे सूर्याच्या प्रतलावरचे बाकी प्रतलाच्या मनाने कोल्डर असणारे रिजन्स आहेत आणि त्याचं कारण असं आहे की त्यांचं जे तापमान असतं ते बाकी प्रतलापेक्षा एक दीड ते दोन हजार डिग्रीजनी कमी असतात त्यामुळे ते आपल्याला डार्कर दिसतात त्यांच्यावरती प्रचंड मोठ्या प्रमाणामध्ये मॅग्नेटिक ऍक्टिव्हिटी चालू असते आणि ती मॅग्नेटिक ऍक्टिव्हिटी चालू असल्यामुळे त्या भागातले जे चार्ज आणि हॉट पार्टिकल्स असतात सनच्या सरफेसवरचे ते बाहेर फेकले जातात आणि कधी कधी सोलार फ्लेक्स किंवा सोलार स्टॉम्स आपल्याला अनुभवता येतात आणि ह्या सोलार फ्लेक्स जर पृथ्वीच्या दिशेने डायरेक्टेड आल्या तर पृथ्वीच्या मॅग्नेटिक फील्डमुळे त्या सोलर फ्लेअर्स पृथ्वीच्या नॉर्थ आणि साऊथ पोल्सकडे डायरेक्ट होतात आणि त्या फ्लेअर्स जेव्हा ऍटमॉस्फेअर बरोबर इंटरॅक्ट होतात त्या इंटरॅक्शनमुळे आपल्याला अरोरास नावाचा फेनॉमिनन दिसतो सो अशा अरोरास होण्याचं कारण हे सूर्याच्या मॅग्नेटिक फील्ड पासून सुरू होतं सूर्यापासून ते हाय एनर्जी पार्टिकल्स निघून आपल्या पृथ्वीच्या ऍटमॉस्फेअर बरोबर इंटरॅक्ट करतात आणि खूप सुंदर असे आपल्याला अरोरास दिसतात आपण पुन्हा एकदा सेटअप ला जाऊया आणि आदित्य आम्हाला आता पुन्हा एकदा सेटअप शॅडोज दाखवशील का जोपर्यंत ते सुरू होत आहे तोपर्यंत आपण आणखीन एक हे बघूया वेबसाईट वरचा व्हिडिओ पाहूया झिरो शॅडो डेचा हा काढलेला एक टाइम लॅप्स आहे टाइमलॅप्स मध्ये तुम्ही बघू शकता की शॅडो ची लेंथ आधी खूप लॉंगर होती वेस्टच्या डिरेक्शनला शॅडो पडत होती कारण काय सन ईस्ट मेरिडियन मध्ये होता ज्या क्षणी सन मी नॉर्थ साऊथ लाईन म्हणजे मेरिडियन क्रॉस केली एक्झॅक्टली ओव्हर हेड आल्यानंतर त्या क्षणी त्या पाईपची शॅडो आपल्याला सर्क्युलर दिसते त्या पाईपच्या आतमध्ये आम्ही एक वॉटर बॉटल ठेवते आणि नंतर झिरो शॅडो या मुमेंट नंतर पुन्हा एकदा तुम्ही बघू शकता की त्याची शॅडो एक्सटेंड व्हायला लागली पण पुन्हा एकदा बघूया आता आपण आयुगातला सेटअप बघूया सो आता झिरो शॅडो झिरो शॅडोचा मुवमेंट आता क्लोजर येत चाललाय सो शॅडो शिल्ल्यानंतर आता हळूहळू कमी व्हायला लागणार लागणार आहे मी आता बघू शकता की ह्या शॅडोजची लांबी पण कमी व्हायला लागली आहे आणि हे जास्तीत जास्त जास्त करून सर्क्युलर व्हायला लागले आता ते थोडे ओव्हल दिसत होते गॅप्स तुम्ही बघू शकता की शॅडो आधीच्या मार्किंग पासून लेफ्टला सरकलेली आहे ऍक्च्युली सेंटरच्या बाजूला सरकलेली आहे व्हिडिओ फ्रीज झाला तुम्हाला वेगवेगळे सेटअप इकडे दिसतात काही टॉईज ठेवलेली आहेत काही स्केल्स ठेवलेले आहेत या बीकरचं मार्किंग आता आपण ट्रॅक करतोय
जस्टी मार्किंग के लिए सो ट्वेल्व ओ फाइव लार्किंग कर सुरुआत आता अपन ऑब्जर्व कर एक्चुअली जीरो शेड्यू डे प्रेडिक्ट के टाइम लिस्तो का नहीं इवन आता जे पार्टिसिपेंट्स किंवा स्टुडंट्स आता कोंड एरियामध्ये थांबलेत त्यांच्या पण शॅडोज आता हळूहळू कमी व्हायला लागतील तुम्ही जर सरळ उभे राहिलात तुमच्या प्लेस वर ना आता जरी तुम्ही झिरो शॅडो डे साठी काही एक्सपेरिमेंट्स करणार असाल तर तुम्ही तुमची शॅडो पण छोटी छोटी होताना बघू शकता आणि एक्झॅक्टली तुमच्या पायाच्या खाली जाताना बघू शकता आदित्य मी तिकडेच येतो येस ओके ओके
the beaker has this uh, collar on the top and because of that collar the shadow of the beaker will be exactly uh, equal to the diameter of the collar that is there and not the base because base is narrower than the collar of the beaker now similar to this there are so many more instruments and more setups that we have used you can see that we have set up these circular rings and the shadows of these rings will be exactly circles at the time of the local noon and before and after that the shadows will be slightly less circular now you can also see they have set up a couple of cones and pipes so the pipes are basically cylinders so uh, a cylinder will cast exactly a circular shadow in the form of a ring when the sun comes over it right now this shadow is not exactly circular so it is important for us to uh, set up these cylinders uh, exactly uh, you know perpendicular to the earth now uh, the base of the cylinder uh, should be exactly parallel but the cylinder in itself should be exactly perpendicular to enable us to see the uh, shadow exactly uh, circular on the open now apart from these setups we have also set up a clock so it is 12:30 on the clock and it's almost close to the zero shadow moment and you can see that the shadow length is getting uh, no, narrower and narrower so in another few seconds in another 5 or 6 seconds the shadow will be the most circular so you can use any setups in your household those need, need not be so sophisticated uh zabar and you so these setups are basically uh, need not be unsophisticated you can set up anything that you have in your house it can be a water bottle it can be uh, maybe your bike uh, put on a uh, main stand you can have people standing straight and their shadow will be falling exactly uh, below their feet so this happens twice a year in case of uh, regions between the tropics so pune is well between the tropics and not on the either of the tropics so we can experience this zero shadow day moment on 14 Uh, of me 13th and 14th of me depending upon where you live in pune or delhi and then you can experience this again on 29th or 30th of the time so uh, let's now see the shadows we have uh, marking of this picture over here and at the zero shadow moment the sh uh, shadow of the beaker is the shortest because the base of the beaker is smaller than its top so you can repeat this experiment on other days you can verify whether you really see zero shadow day only on this day or can you also see it on any other days and uh, with that experiment you can understand how the sun is moving in the sky whenever the shadow slightly falls towards the south of the object that means the sun is in the northern part of the sky and if the southward shadow gets longer and longer that means the sun is continuing to move towards the north which is happening right now the sun is in its northward apparent motion so the sun will be the northmost when the uh, 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 during 21st of june right after which the sun will continue its journey towards the south now this uh, apparent motion of the sun is called as uttarayan and dakshinayan now these motions happen every year uh, the sun is constantly moving uh, apparently uh, because of the earth's rotation and the sun now because of all these combined effects we are able to uh, experience zero shadow days and we are able to uh, enjoy observing this so uh, thank you everyone for joining our stream and uh, we uh, let us let us quickly uh, see the shadow again it's 1231 now okay so it's almost it's actually exactly local noon you can see the shadows of the pipes have become circular now we have some of our students who have were trying to capture their circular shadows so they have formed the ring So if you are uh, in your homes and you are observing this right now, you you all can try this activity. You can make a large circle and you can see 
that because it is an exact zero shadow moment uh, the shadows are exactly below their feet and the ha- shadows of their hands are exactly uh, a straight line So if you want to observe this zero shadow day from your location, then uh, you can download the ZSC app, or you can visit the Astronomical Society of India website. You can also take a look at the Ayuka Sahib YouTube channel, and you will find many videos uh, of zero shadow day which we have uploaded in many languages. So we have resources created in almost eight different uh, local languages, and you can definitely make use of. So thank you all for joining our zero shadow day stream. I hope that it was resourceful. so if you have any questions you can always uh, post on our social media channels or if you want to share your photos of zero shadow day use the hashtag zsd ayuka so use the hashtag zsd iuca or you can simply follow uh, our channels on youtube instagram facebook and twitter and you can tag us so we will be happy to share your images with the world thank you again and thank you for joining the zero shadow day